Well, well, well. If it isn't the problematic yarns. Hmm. What else y'all want to talk about? because I'm using a new phone and the volume's not that great on it and I want to make sure you can hear me. So, of course, I'm just sitting here running. Guess what I'm watching? Can you see? The Gogos! Anywho. So, first and foremost, Problematic Darlings. For those of you that aren't a Problematic Darling, my name is Hillary Mansfield. I am also known on the internet as Hilljane, H-I-L-L-J-A-Y-N-E. And for webcamming fans, I am the original Tranny Cougar. I am the former Countess Cherie over at Cam4.com, where I won the North American Transgender Webcammer of the Year back in 2020. And I went with that title. So the volume is just not thrilling on this. So I'm just going to keep my headphones on because I think it sounds a little better speaking into the headphone mic. Hopefully you guys can hear me better. I'm sorry about the beginning. You know, just doing a little test run. Um, but I have a lot to say today. First and foremost, like I was saying, I'm Hillary Mansfield. Um, I, legend. Webcam legend. If you are new to my channel, please click that like and subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. It really, really helps me. It helps us out a lot. I am not a tea channel. I am not a drama channel. I am not a family channel. I am not a beauty channel. I am not one of those candle channels. I am a talk show. And oftentimes the topic of the talk show is my life, which is going to be today. I've had a two month absence and I'm going to explain um, my absence to you guys. I'm going to explain what's going on in my now defunct relationship, what happened. And I'm going to give a little um, message for a show that's going to be coming up soon. So I guess I should start off with where have I been for the past two months? Well, you know, when I first came back after my other absence back in April and May, um, I had had a mental breakdown. And this time I actually had a heart attack and kidney failure. I had blood clots and... There was talk of me actually having onset early dementia. I don't. I don't have dementia. But because my my um, physical health was getting so shaky, I was forgetting a lot of things. And I have a list here of things that are wrong with me. Here's a list of all these things that are wrong with me. Um... So basically, long story short, what happened was me and my now ex, my ex and I were living in, in a rooming house called, that was run by a place called Baltimore Safe Haven. And that's not what this topic is about today. That's the next show. I'm going to do a whole let's showdown on the Baltimore Safe Haven. But we were um, in, a, in a rooming house by the Baltimore Safe Haven and they kicked us out because he and I were arguing. Unlike some couples, we get a little loud when we argue. Anyway, that's not the point. But we didn't really have anywhere to go. And so we walked around downtown Baltimore all night long. And we argued the whole time. And... Um, he is very athletic, um, he's in amazing shape, and um, I am the type of girl who lays on the couch. My type, my type of working out is laying on the couch in a meat coat, eating Doritos. That's how I work out. He's very active. I'm not that active. So I was trying to keep up with him all night long, and by the daytime, and, and we were also arguing, and my nerves were shot. Um, we were arguing like crazy. Um, 
the daylight came and it was scorching hot and I started having these weird, I don't want to say chest pains, it was painful, but it wasn't the most excruciating pain. It was just weird pressure, this weird pressure right here. And um, he took off to go pee behind a friend of mine's house. And um, I guess he expected me to follow him, but I, I I went around one time and couldn't find him. And then I just went to the hospital. The hospital was like seriously three blocks away. And I didn't want the brouhaha of an ambulance, or as I say in Baltimore, ambulance. I didn't want the brouhaha of an ambulance. And so I walked to the hospital. And this was at uh, MedStar, and they took the most amazing care of me. MedStar, um, MedStar at Franklin Square in particular. I was at MedStar in Union Square um, in Baltimore, and then I was transferred to um, Franklin Square out in Perry Hall, which if you ever get sick, do go to Franklin Square if you're in um, Baltimore. But it turns out that um, I had had blood clots. I had blood clots. I had, you know, I couldn't remember things. You know, just things were really, really messy. I was really, really messy. I had a mild heart attack. Um, the dementia thing I knew was kind of off because it doesn't run in my family. But when you are over the age of 40, it's very, very important to get checkups. It's very important when your doctor says, go get this checkout, go get this checkout. A referral, go do that referral. I didn't. And I had to come off completely off my hormones, which I had already been since December. As some of you remember, I had kidney failure. I've been so sick this year. I had, I had kidney failure back in um, December um, of Christmas time, and um, they took me off my hormones. I just now have been approved to get back on the hormones. See, I'm on the patch. I don't know if you can see it underneath my Marcus tattoo. Can you see that? I'm on the patch, right there. Um, and I can just feel the estrogen flowing in my body. You gotta remember, I'm a transgendered woman. No hormones for seven months. That's the, that's like the death. That's like death to me. But I have to say, in the hospital, I was in there for eleven days, and I had a lot of time to think. And one of the things I was thinking about is that no one came to see me. And I'm not doing a world to me. No one came to see me. No one checked on me. My now ex was named as next of kin. He never called. He never did anything. He didn't know. He didn't know. Because I couldn't find him. Because I couldn't call him because he had destroyed my phone earlier. So in those during those eleven days, um I had a lot of time to think about my relationship and where it was going, was it healthy for me? I still love that man. I still do. More than anything, I couldn't get him off my mind. It was devastating not being able to talk to him and him not knowing what was going on. And I knew what was going through. And I knew exactly what was going through his head. I, I, I knew. I knew. I know that man. I know that man better than anyone. Um, the fa fact that no family cared, that kind of hurt. Um, they care, but just, they don't care. But they care. They have their own lives, and I understand that. Um, but I made it, and then I got transferred to a, um, like a rehabilitation center where they made me take all my extensions out. It's called Pascal, and it's um, in Odom, Odom or something like that. Well, in Maryland, don't go, don't go. Horrible. Made me take my extensions out. I actually left and walked about a mile till a very nice police officer picked me up and brought me into Baltimore. Um, Say what you want about the police, and God knows y'all know I can't stand the police. But this was a nice guy. He was a nice guy. He was from Florida, so he was Southern too. He was very, very nice and felt bad. And, you know, some of my hair was on, some was off. Anyway, I lasted at Pasco for a day. And they made me take my hair out. And I, unfortunately, I didn't leave. Right when they told me, made me take my hair out, I would wait until afterwards. Anyway, um, but I want everyone to know this. I'm fine. My health is better. I'm back on my hormones. Um, I have to take blood thinners for another month. But there's no dementia, kidney, uh, heart is permanently damaged. And I want to tell everyone that does any amphetamines or any type of upper narcotic, please be careful. My heart is stretched. And that's something that I have to live with forever. I'm not going to have any more heart attacks, but my heart is permanently stretched. I will never tell, it, I will never tell you guys how to live your life. But be careful, okay? If you're partying and you're partying hard, just be careful, darling, okay? So my relationship, now don't look at my nails, I haven't had my nails done, I can only do so much, um, 
no more engagement ring. My engagement was off. During the time that I was in the hospital, um, there was um, something tragic that my ex went through, and I wasn't there for him, and he can't get over that, even though I was not able to help. He just can't comprehend that I was in the hospital during that time, and I love him so much, my heart goes out to him, and it's not my business to tell you his business, but basically he dumped me, and um, but I'm dealing with it, and I'm getting better, and I'm getting stronger every day. I am in a great living place. My ex is an amazing man, so smart, so brilliant. But sometimes he's not a friend of the truth. And he's on going online saying that he I abandoned him. I've never abandoned anyone in my life. Never. Never I've never abandoned anyone. He abandoned me. And he's also saying telling people I'm on drugs. I can't do drugs. I can't do Adderall anymore. I can't I'm not a friend of Addy anymore. If I do, I could have another heart attack and die. And at this particular moment, all the meds that I'm on, I can tell you right now, I wanna live. I want to live. No more suicide attempts. I feel really, really good. I like to have my own apartment. I have a roommate who I just adore. We are great friends. He's a wonderful, wonderful guy. I met this man. And he befriended me. And he didn't even want anything. He didn't want sex. He didn't want anything. He just wanted to be my friend. So as far as my living situation goes, I actually have some serenity now. And I'm actually getting some, some things accomplished. And I don't know that I could get these things accomplished if I was still with my ex. Because I would be... You know, I worship my ex. I still do. I love you. I love my time. I love time has forgotten. I always will. Whether he believes it or not. I don't hate him. Sometimes I feel like I should, but I don't. But he just lies a lot. And I can't deal with it. And I don't want anything to come in between me and my roommate. We got a great thing happening. And I'm very, very happy. Um, HRH Collection. You know, um, yes, I can talk about it. Yes, I can. Um, my girl. A lot of you guys don't like her. I don't um, get it. I see the parody. I know some of the things she says are real. And I just see a lot of parody um, in what she says and a lot of caricature. I think she likes to get all y'all right. Wild up. And boy, does she. So apparently, my darling prince of YouTube, Mr. Sebastian Soto has been going through some drama with um, some Trisha Paytas fans and it's, if you can watch his latest video to find out exactly what it is it's not my place but y'all need to leave him alone this he's basically really he's kind of being stalked and I'm very concerned for him because um, he's such a sweetie pie and he's scared and because he's scared I'm scared for him but to this person that's really given him hell I think her name is Jennifer or something or supposedly she's a she Jennifer, why don't you come over here, honey? Bring it. Bring it. Bring it on someone who is your match. Come on, Jennifer. Come here. Come here. Come here, Jennifer. Anyway, you guys, this is my video for today. This is my comeback video. I hope you're having an amazing summer. I hope you had a fun fourth. I have missed you. My views have hit the skids. I'm having trouble getting to 100 now. I mean, that has never happened before. I haven't had a video that's hit a thousand in months and um, I don't know if I'm shadow banned I got canceled or whatever I think it was canceled I think I've been canceled so this is kind of my comeback video I have, I have released a lot of shorts and a lot of um, couple minute videos fading fast is really good you should watch that so shattered glass but anyway I want to thank everyone I, I'm not getting any views from euros I don't know if I've been shot banned in, in Europe in Europe or what I really don't know what's going on but I love you all. I know you're out there. Please give me another chance. I'm talking, to, I'm, I'm, I'm communicating. Toxic and I are, I'm trying to get in touch with him. We're, we're texting through Twitter and I'm trying, trying for that collaboration. I can't wait. I love you all. You know, why are you watching me? Go out and get you some.